Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play series. And yes, I have installed shaders because we can now use shaders for 1.17 in Optifine. Do let me know if you think I should continue the series with these shaders. Um, yeah, I, I think it looks really well. I, I really like how the shader looks. So uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, I have done a little bit of work off camera over here by the farm. Not a whole lot, but I have done some. Ooh, it's bright out here. I like it. Uh, we have our potatoes, of course, but I have, as you can see, been chopping down some trees and I have expanded the trees over here. So the spruce and the jungle trees did actually grow. So now we have two saplings of each. Hopefully they'll grow pretty soon. Haven't been able to do anything with the wheat nor with the nether wart, but hopefully we will be able to do that today. And I'm hoping to be able to to fix this warp nether wart thing. I, I can't speak today, uh, but... We're going to the nether. I want to go to the nether. I want to see how the, what the nether looks like. And also to see if we have a fortress so we can hopefully get some nether ward and some soul sand. So we can actually make this plot and start making potions and potentially find the stronghold. Now question is where do I want this portal placed? I think go there maybe. I think that would be a nice place to have it. I want it to be kind of close to home but also not too close. But I think having it right here... I think that that I think yeah I think that could work so let's go ahead and place it three here three there two there and boom all right I will probably at some point make this look a whole lot better but for now this will have to do let's go through this this is gonna be interesting hopefully it's safe hopefully it's not one of the bad spots okay um uh, okay, not the not the best. Not not the best. Um I ain't gonna lie. This is not the most optimal spot in the world. Is that that's not even soul sand. Um hey gassed. I must say, the nether with the shaders looks pretty cool. Um hmm. Yeah, this is not this is not an ideal place to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even have any blocks to really bridge with. I would need to mine a bunch of this basalt in order to go anywhere. Which I think is probably going to be in that direction. Eh. 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 I don't know what is most promising. That or that. And I, I think honestly that it feels a little bit more promising. And also might be a little bit easier to get to. Now I gotta remember, I'm in hardcore. I'm not used to being in hardcore, so I need to remember not to take unnecessary risks. And this could be an unnecessary risk, but we do need another ward. So yeah, I jumped there. I should have looked first. <laughs> I didn't look where I jumped. I just jumped because I assumed it would be fine. And lava is deadly. I don't have any fire protection potions whatsoever oh boy i'm gonna be holding shift down a whole lot here <laughs> i am not used to having this risk of being able to fall and die and the world just ends um yeah this could be very bad but i mean i do have oh boy i do have diamond gear so i mean it's not all bad. I should mark these coordinates actually. Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Should mark these coordinates just in case. And I should also have my sword out because that that sounds like a better idea. Um, right. I'm gonna keep moving here. I'm just gonna go ahead and like stick to the edges here, where I feel like it's a little bit safer than starting to parkour all the way around here. So. I don't know if this is promising terrain or not. This could just be like a dead end or a continuing basalt. I don't like magma cubes. I really do not like magma cubes. Out of all the biomes, this is possibly one of the most dangerous places we could be. There's a strider up there. That's cool. Um, and the issue is I could get attacked from above as well, which is... That, that would be very bad. That would be very, very bad. Right. 
Well, I've come this far. I think I'm going to continue in this direction. I have increased my FOV as well. Uh, it was 80 before. I have increased it to 100. <laughs> I feel safer this way. Uh, that's Soul Sand Valley. Okay, so we do have an end of the basalt. Right, that's you. That That's a creepy sound, mister. I do not like it. Alright, we have what seems like a crimson biome over there, and we also have soul soil, um, and also soul sand, which is what we want. I don't actually remember if we have any nether water. I think we might have found some. But regardless, getting soul sand is going to be key. Is that a fortress? No. Ah, getting a fortress fairly close would be really ideal. But then again, am I ready to take on a fortress this early? I barely have my stuff enchanted and I don't know if I'm quite ready but I guess we'll find out all right gonna kind of make a little bit of a stairway here so I can get down safely without having to also I'm out of torches I don't have any torches so I can't make my way with them uh, that's an enchanted sword yeah, I need to be careful especially I am not going into a bastion by the way if we find a bastion, I'm saying it right now, I'm not going in there. <laughs> Those piglin brutes will kill me instantly, so that is not something that's going to happen anytime soon. I can promise you that. With very much certainty. Alright, you are gonna be a pain in the butt to get rid of. And the lava and skeletons are shooting at me as well. And... At least now I'm on flat ground, so I feel safer now. But is it just me or am I faster? I feel fast, but I don't have any enchantments on my boots. All right, well, we're getting magma cream, which is excellent. That is useful for fire resistance potions in the future. Can't make them now, obviously, unless we find a stronghold. Not stronghold, fortress. I'm tired. Right, well, I'm going to take out my shovel, actually, and I think I'm going to get, like, a stack of this. I think a stack should do. I'm actually not 100% sure if a stack will will suffice. Let me think and calculate that. I'm just gonna get one and a half stack to be sure. Then I'm on the safe side. All right, one and a half stack of soul sand has been acquired. Now I would actually really like to go down there and get my hands on some of those bones. And there's a bastion. Right, that could also explain the amount of piglins. Um, I don't think I want to go over there, if I'm being completely honest with you. That's a fortress. Oh, that's a fortress. We have a fortress, guys. Okay. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I really want those bone blocks. I don't have... Oh, there's a piglin brood as well. And there's chests. Um... Um, gotta be very careful here. Gotta be extremely careful. Oh, that's a big bastion. I see those chests, and I'm debating whether or not to go for it, but I think the better idea is to not do that. As enticing that is, those guys kind of make up my mind. Um, I, I really, I don't, re I really don't think it's worth the risk but it's worth coming back here though it's right down here we can remember it I don't have a lava bucket I'm not gonna risk it now I don't even have any gold on me if I do see some lava I'll grab it though but um, I do think I have to fight my way through these guys so let's do that this guy has a sword this guy's gonna shoot me done okay we're good so far. I don't think I've got to spend too too long, actually, in the stronghold. Uh, I keep saying stronghold, the fortress here. I kind of just want to get the blaze rod. And... Yeah, get out of there. I don't know if I want to fight any of the, like, wither skeletons or anything. Not now, anyway. Alright. This guy is gone. Okay, definitely don't want to get near the Hawklands. Don't, don't, I don't want any part of that. I don't... I don't need that. It's fine. Okay, there's a blaze spawner up there. Now, again, I do not have fire resistance potions. And it does look like that I have to deal with you. Which I'm not too happy about. 
but okay. I, I can do that. I can do that. But yeah, place a spawner up there. I should be able to get the stuff that I need. I don't really want to go looting in here just yet because of wither skeletons. Um, mm, then again, I could. You know what? Let me start with the blaze rods. Let's see how that goes. They're under me as well. A terrible fortress. I also gotta be careful of wither skeletons. And also, oh, the spawner is right there, and it's active. Okay. 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 Right. This is fine. This is completely fine. Alright, that's one blaze rod. Uh, how many am I gonna get? I don't know. I do not know, but I do know that I'm gonna take out this floor, because that's gonna make my life of getting these a whole lot easier. Alright, if you could just... Ow. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, give me that. Retreat a little. I'm actually gonna do this. Because then I feel a little bit safer. <laughs> Alright. Here we go again. That's fire. Alright, he's down. I probably should keep some of this fire out going so we can actually see a little bit better. I'm gonna take out this floor. Ow. That way I can farm these guys a little bit easier. This sword is making it good easier though, but I don't have looting unfortunately. That was with a skeleton. Yep, right there. I don't really want to deal with that. I have three blaze rod. I would like to get like eight. Eight, so I have seven for potentially finding the stronghold eventually. And oh hello there. And also one to making a brewing stand. That would be nice. That is, if I can just get these guys without dying, that would be great as well. We're actually doing good so far. So far, so good. We haven't... Oh boy. I don't like that. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I can get attacked from piglins and whatnot from up there. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't think about that, and they are... They do sound angry back there. Now I'm standing in the fire. Standing in the fire. That's not the greatest idea I've ever had. Alright, getting a little bit low here. Getting a little bit low. Getting a tad bit low. Don't like it. Don't like it. I really need to find a way to get some totems. I think that needs to be key soon. <laughs> because I will not feel safe unless I have some of those. Alright, I just need two more. Ow. I don't know, am I taking too many risks here? Uh, am I taking too many dumb risks? I don't know. I have eight. I would like maybe one more, because I do like to have more than one brewing stand when making potions. Hello? Oh, they're above me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Me no likey. Okay, I have nine. I have nine. I have nine. I'm getting out of here. Okay, hold on. I have nine. I think I have everything I need from here. Soul set, except for another ward. I don't have another ward. Uh, I do not remember. Right. I do not remember if I have another ward back home. So you guys, scream at me in the comments if I if I have. Um, and if I haven't, well, I'm about to get some now. Uh, oh dear, that's that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, not too bad. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Well, I found another ward. But it does not sound... ...safe. I'm just gonna... ...do that, then... ...do that. I'm just gonna take all these. <laughs> uh... Right. Perfect. That's 28. Wait, 23. 23, sorry. Uh, right. I think that's it. I think I am out of here. I think that... Oh, wait. I do want glowstone. Excuse me. Am I being shot at or is something else being shot at? I don't know. But I do want some glowstone with me. As What? On... Oh, no. That's bad. 
question is, can do I have enough arrows to get this guy? That's one. Uh, two. I think three arrows should do it. Uh, I, hey, I had my shield up. I had my shield up. That's not fair. All right, gonna get a bunch of this glowstone and we'll head back home, <laughs> where I can feel safe in my little hidey hole underground. Because <laughs> this, this is too much adventure. This, this is, yeah, this is um. A, a, a little bit nerve-wracking, yeah. Uh, yep, 56 glowstones, sound good. Let's go back home. Going back home. Going back home. Yep, going back home. Yep, yep, ah, yeah, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. We're leaving, we're out. We're leaving. How many, oh wait, do I have any? I do have one magma, magma cream. Now I have two. I don't think you guys are gonna drop any. Nope, all right, two's good, two's good. Oh wait, three? I just got level 30. We can enchant something else. Nope, no three. Okay, let's go home, enchant. Oh, wait, can I get a guest here? Oh, I want a guest here so I can make regeneration potions. I want a guest here. I want a guest here. I want a guest here. Stay right there. No, come on. I want a guest here. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Please. I want a guest here. Yes, guest here. All right. Beautiful. Let's go back home. We got so much stuff today. This this area is good. We have a bastion right next door. So we have a fortress when we want it with a skeleton skull. So if we ever want to do that, if I don't chicken out. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of things. And I am also not going to grab a lava bucket. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I just need to go back home into the safety of my hidey hole and brew up some potions that is hopefully going to help me in emergency situations. I'll meet you back at the portal. Sound good? Yeah, sound good. All right, good. If I can remember the safe way back, that is. I do remember it's this direction. I just gotta be careful not to fall in some sort of stupid hole. Dying now would be... Very sad. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. You guys are not good. Not good company. Very bad. Go back. Go back. That's better. One wrong step. One wrong jump. And it's all... It could all end. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, right, I definitely need to make this safer. But we made it to the portal. Yay. And it's sunset, so... We can go back to our hidey hole. Nice and safe. And the jungle tree grew. Beautiful. I'm going back into my hole and I'm not coming out for the next three days. <laughs> All right, this is a lot of stuff. Let me quickly organize my inventory and I will be right back with you. All right, I hear something. It might be that. Yeah, I think it's that. Anyway, uh, yes, we can now make the soul sand plot. I'm gonna wait a little bit with that because I just slept. I do not want to risk it at this point in time. What I do want to do is I want to do get a glowstone and then just smack that in there. Uh, also, I want to get this and that. Because then what I can do is I can take this up as well as this. Place a glowstone. It should light up the area. I don't know if it is. It's not. I thought the glowstone light would go through the enchantment table, but nope. Okay, well, that's disappointing. Um, anyway, what I'm going to then do instead is I'm going to smelt this red sand down so we can get some glass for some glass bottles, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two brewing stands, and I'm also going to grab... Oh, oh can work. We put a little bit of a table right here. And brewing stands like so, and then a chest in the middle, and that will be our brewing area. With a chest like that, boom. Now, with this glass, we can of course make some glass bottles, and I will then have to go up and fill those in just a second. So as we're going up to fill those, we might as well place down the soul sand plot and place down the soul, not the soul sand, another wart, so it can grow nice and tall. Are uh, we clear? Are we in the clear? Yeah, we're probably in the clear. All right. Place it down.
Boom. Just like that. And then I'm gonna place another ward on these rows right here. I'm gonna keep a little bit. I'm gonna keep whatever is left over from these two rows. Five. That's perfect. That's enough to make it. Yeah, there's a cave. Oh, there's a cave down here somewhere. It's already growing. Look at that. Uh, right, I'm gonna fill these up and we're gonna go down and make a few potions. All right, we have everything we need. And I have this as well to kind of help us with remembering what is what. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in there. Oh, I forgot, I need, um, I should have taken one more to get the fuel for the for the stand here. Oh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I can always get more blaze rods, it's fine. It's fine, there we go. Go ahead and put that in the fuel. Just like so. Put this in here as well. Another ward. The nether ward is going to make these into awkward potions. Then we can add magma cream and gas here. Magma cream is going to give us fire resistance, and gas here is going to give us regeneration. Then they're both going to get hit with redstone dust, which is going to increase the potion time effect. And then gunpowder to make them into splash potions that we can actually throw at ourselves. So magma cream right there. Gas here like so. And in just a second, these have been made into fire resistant potions. So we add redstone dust, which is going to increase it to eight minutes. And regeneration is going to get increased to, I think, a minute and 30 seconds. And eight minutes, there we go. And add gunpowder, and it will be the throwable version. Yes, one minute and 30 seconds. I was correct. And just like that, we now have three fire resistant potions that are throwable, eight minutes each, and we also have regeneration. I am going to now always keep one of each in my inventory in case of an emergency, because that, I feel like that is probably a very good idea. So I'm gonna add the rest in here, like so. And there we go, we are now set with potions. Now, I have 30 levels. I could enchant the next thing of my armor or I could try and get a better diamond pickaxe. I think I'm going to try and enchant my diamond leggings if the enchantment is good. It is protection four. I think we're gonna try and shoot for that. And I really gotta find that zombie because that, that's an annoying neighbor to have. Protection four, let's hope we get something else as well. On breaking three and protection four, that is perfect. That is going to help us greatly to survive. And I'm thinking of adding a little bit of detail actually to this table. I can go ahead and add some signs here. Yeah, I think I like that. I like that. I like that a lot better. So guys, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. It's a little bit shorter than usual. Actually, no, it's not 23 minutes long. Okay, never mind. <laughs> do let me know if you if you think I should let it, if I should continue using shaders. Um, do let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe as it greatly supports me. And yeah, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to check out this video to the right. Or you can go ahead and click on the video that YouTube recommends for you. Also remember to subscribe right above my head. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.